morning, all, and welcome to the first React conference. We're a bit unprofessional at this, well, I am anyway. So, kicking this off, I want to tell a little bit of a story to how we got here in the first place. Uh, going back about a year or so ago, I was working with Tara at Instel, and I'm doing a lot of training, sort of day in, day out with him occasionally. And we discovered that we wanted people to do something a bit different, sort of more than just a single course. And we started talking through what would those things be. And as we put together a list of things, we realized this would be quite a long amount of work, probably weeks or even months if it was an individual course. We thought, hang on, we've got to make this simpler. It's got to be just maybe a conference of a couple of days, but we'll cover all the major subjects that are interesting in it. Whilst we were doing that, the thing that I came across was the thing called the Reactive Manifesto. And I thought, this is really interesting. It's covering the majority of what we were talking about would be in this course that would be quite interesting. It's the things that people are having to do today in complicated systems that they're building and trying to react to all of this traffic and load. And so I reached out to Jonas and says that this is really interesting, this manifesto. There's a few things I think we could add to it that I'm seeing in my normal working life. And I was kind of curious, like, where did it come from from you? Yeah, I was, I was just sitting down yesterday trying to, th I mean, sort of, can you hear me fine? Mm. Yeah. So trying to think, th think through, I mean, why I think Reactive is, imp is important to me, why I'm so excited about this, this conference and all. Mm. And, and, and uh, when, I, I mean, when I think about it, when I start thinking about it, I think we as an industry, we're, we're sort of obsessed by, by, by pop culture. I mean, the, the, the language of the year or the framework or the week or the, or the, or the buzzword of the day. And, and I think that's sort of, that, that's, that can be very harmful. I mean, really, we even see things like resume a driven development sort of type of attitudes, right? And, and we're also, as an industry, really, I mean, like thrives and loves wars, right? It can be this, this epic battle between sort of VI and, and Emacs, or like long running like candidates like statically versus dynamically typed languages, and like OO versus FP, et cetera. But it, and that's, it's, sort of, it's sort of natural, I guess, because as, as humans, we, sort of, we, love, we, love, we love communities and we love to like, feel part of something. But I also think that if, we, if it like, turns into like alienating ourselves to others, Instead of trying to, 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 to see each other's like similarities, it can be really harmful. And why I'm exci ex so excited about Reactive, I think, is because it's really, and this community around it, and this conference today tries to do the opposite, really. It's really trying to, to for like bridge commu commu communities, look at the different, I mean, sort of the similarities between different com communities and how different sort of groups of people are, are, are trying to solve similar problems instead of looking at the differences and trying to come up with our vocabulary and a way of talking and thinking about things that that helps communication between these and helps to to I mean in, in, to make things easier to integrate between them and I think that's really important and I and the, and the second thing I, I'm really excited about reactive is that it's really sort of, it's instead of the, like the latest framework of the day or let's talking about buzzwords, it brings the discussion back to, to the core principles, to, to think about the, the design and, and the architecture of the system and how you actually think about software more in like the, 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 sort of the, the superficial things. And, and uh, I think that's something also that, that, we, that we should really, that we, that reactive sort of really, really, really helps with, and it also looks back in, in history. It doesn't just try to ignore. I mean, the gold mine of, of knowledge that's been there for for I mean, like the last 30, 40 years, but instead trying to bring that into a new sort of new context and and learn from from the experience of the old timers, which I also think is great. So that's why I'm really excited about the whole this whole reactive thing. And I was I was super excited when Martin reached out and and asked if I thought it was a good idea to to create a conference around reactive. And, and I think if, if you look at the speaker list, I, mean, I really want to thank all the great speakers. I mean, this has been really fantastic to see all the thought leaders. I mean, I feel like I'm the, I'm the idiot in the crowd, right? It's a really humbling experience to be part of all these, these super smart people. And, and I also think that is sort of a statement. If you look at from all their, all the, all their backgrounds and, and, and all the, the, the different topics, all, all the experiences that they have, that if, and if you look at all the people we have here as well, that we're really actually bridging communities here. And, we, and I think that's, that, that's, that's super exciting. And personally, I'm really looking forward to the clinics at the end of the, 
of this uh, of this day. So I really encourage you, you guys to scribble down like ideas for discussions. Also, um, the discussions out in the hallways afterwards, where I'm going to learn a lot from because all, we all have different views and probably different. I mean, we probably think about reactor from different standpoints, right? And we, we're all here to, to try to like figure out what all this means, right? To to help. Uh, us building better software. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I can't be more thrilled to be here, actually. Yeah, so it's really cool. So I think before we get started, I want to thank someone who's organized most of it. It's Tara from Instel. I don't know where he's hiding, but he's the one who's actually made all of this happen and work for it. So like, Jonas and I talked about having it happen, and we talked to the speakers, and it was great because the speakers really wanted to do it, but Tara made it all happen. So. I think he deserves the credit for this today, and hopefully yeah. it'll all run really, really smooth. And as I said, I really want to thank all the, all the great speakers, and also you guys for, for showing up here. I think it's going to be, a, we're going to have a very intense, but really, really fun two days. Yeah. And one of the things, just want to thank our sponsors for part of this, because as you realize, we've done this at a very, very low ticket price. The goal wasn't to make money, it was to actually get the community together and talk about something that's really nice and really interesting. And without the sponsor support, we wouldn't be able to have coffee and food and all those great things and the food and all we're going to have tonight. So they've been great in helping us. And they're not doing the usual, there's no booths, there's none of the normal fanfare that comes with that. So they're doing it because they believe in what's happening here, and that's great. Yeah, and I think at this point we're going to hand over to Peter, who's from Zero MQ fame. He's going to be our MC for the next two days and keep us all in order and make sure things happen when they should. Thank you, Jonas. Thank you, Martin. Thanks. Thank you. So, big hand of applause again for these guys. This is a, this is a very very unique event. It's a very unique event. This is this is the speakers today and tomorrow are absolutely stunning, and I'm very jealous not to be able to speak for once. Um, there's a feedback form online. This is the first React Conf. The next year will depend on what happens this year. So put down your comments, put down your points for improvement. Tell us what you liked. Tell us what you didn't like. And enjoy yourselves. There's coffee through there. There's drinks through there. Toilets that way. There'll be a break at 10 o'clock uh, this morning to rearrange the lunch thing. Half an hour there. Speakers will have one hour each. There'll be no questions at the end of the talks. If you have things you want to that you want to interject, just raise your hand as people are talking. Don't be shy. At 4 o'clock this afternoon, there will be speaker clinics, different groups where you can go into more detail. So take notes, stuff you want to talk about, and above all, enjoy. It will all be on the video afterwards. A lot of information. This is going to be like two days of, of really insanely good educational stuff. Thank you all again for being here. Big hand of applause for the organizers, please. I can't hear you, really. This is... Okay. <laughs>